Okay, so we're here at the Bench DJ competition final outside NoHo where it's absolutely banging inside. And our lovely TJ Kid has just finished his set. He went on first. And how did your set go? How did you find it in there? I was quite happy. Nice crowd. Nice ball. Nice vibe. And how did it feel when you found out you were one of the finalists? Uh, I was quite surprised because to be honest with you, there was quite a lot of DJs uh, in the competition and there were some very good mixes. <laughs> Our second finalist, this is DJ Dave Crane, and he played an absolutely storming set. How did you feel about your set? It seemed really positive in there. Yeah, it was. I put a lot of hard work into it, and you've got to try and do something a bit different. What would it mean if you won? It's a bit of a big prize. We've got New Year's Eve set of warehouse. To, to do something as big as the warehouse project is what every DJ can dream of. For the warehouse project, it's the cream of the crop that play there, and the rest of the prize, you've got Vestex involved. The um, music production course as well, the standard has been so high and even the guys that didn't get through, their mixes were spot on as well, so to get this far is, is an achievement in itself. So we're here with our third finalist, which is Odio. We've flown this guy in from Seville in Spain, but that's not where you're from, is it? No, I'm from San Diego, California. You were actually the, um, the only contestant tonight you played on vinyl. What do you like about playing on vinyl? I just never got into... To the CDs, I stuck with vinyl, which is how I learned. What would it mean to you to, to win tonight? It would be fantastic. It would be, um, I've never really had a chance to play that kind of crowd before, and I think it would be a lot of fun. We're here with our fourth finalist, which is um, Nathan Hadley. And I must say, everyone seemed to love it in there. And you had quite a very playlist. How did you put that together? I just tried to jam as much in in the half an hour with lots of different genres of music. What would it feel like for you if you won? dream come true. Yeah, honestly, I'd make my life. Not my year, not my day, my life. Our fifth finalist, Claire Spooner from Leicester. And Claire, you're our only girl. I know, doing it for the girls. How do you think your set went tonight? I thought it went really well, actually. If you did win, how would that feel for you? It would be my absolute dream. Just, yeah, it would be the best thing ever. What did you think of the other finalists? I thought they were awesome. Um, Dave was my favourite. He's the one to beat, I think. So we're here with our um, bench DJ competition final winner, which is Dave Crane. How do you feel, Dave? Words can't express it. It's, it's a great opportunity. So the judges we've had in tonight, obviously, we had the lovely Japanese pop stars. What did you guys make of the, the people that you heard tonight? I, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I think it's amazing for Bench. They put forward this opportunity for people. Claire, how did you feel about how it went tonight? Obviously, I'm a little bit gutted. I'm taking back. I said on the video earlier that it was my favourite, but it's not really. I don't know. <laughs> when we came up with the idea for this, it was all about who we could find to kind of fulfil what Bench is about. And it's all about being yourselves and like all about the music. And just finally, can you give him any advice or tips for New Year's Eve at Warehouse? What's it like? Well, basically, do what he did tonight, and congratulations mm -hmm. to Dave and to the pair of them. Really good. Well done. Well done, guys.